And I guess I'll go first. <laughs> My name is Amanda Taylor. I have the site Guide for Moms and YouTuber on Crazy Amanda Reacts. And uh, I wanted to start out, you know, asking about the, the girls uh, a, a little bit, tell me a little bit about their character and how do they relate to them? Hi. <laughs> well, I'm Frankie. I play the role of Alex. Um, Alex is very, um, she's very sporty and strong and creative and um, she does everything. She's, you know, the basketball team captain. Uh, she's in the school choir. She, she's dance captain. She, now she plays instruments. That originally wasn't a part of my character, but now she plays guitar and piano. And she sings, of course, <laughs> all the honey girls sing. And um, it's really cool getting to play a character who does it all because I love doing everything. So getting to do that in a movie is just amazing. <laughs> I play the character of Maya. And Maya's very, very smart. Um, she's a bit of an engineer. Um, you'll see in the movie that she creates something that's really, really cool. And I would say the thing that I relate to her of is, of course, we both sing and dance, but um, she, I love her style and uh, she wears a lot of tennis skirts and I love tennis skirts. So that's. I'd say me and Charlie are pretty similar with our style. And also whenever I first read the role, it was like she had dyed hair. She has like. She's really into like a lot of different music. She has records all over. I mean, like all, of, she was born in a record store in Brooklyn and um, I actually have records all over my wall and I had dyed hair. So I was like this, <laughs> I'm very similar to Charlie and she's also shy and a little bit self-conscious. So I feel like we're very similar in that way as well. Awesome, thank you. Hi, my name is Claudia Crush. My blog is called Trendy Latina, and I wanted to start by telling you how excited I am to be here with you guys. And I wanted to ask you to complete this sentence. Being a honey girl is? I would love to hear the girls sharing with you. <laughs> I know you're thinking now, right? I made you think. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm thinking, I was thinking about it. I was like, what? I mean, there's so many things that I can say, but being a honey girl is awesome. Being a honey girl is exciting and <laughs> really fun. It's just so much, it's, it's really exciting. It's just exciting. I say being a honey girl is amazing just because uh, getting to work with everyone is so fun and amazing. Thank you. Um, my question's for uh, Trey. And, uh, you know, this from what I read and everything that this movie's kind of girl empowerment, right? So, you know, being a female yourself and, and on this movie, I just wanted to hear, you know, how important that was to you you know, the messages you would like to portray, you know, come across to audience members, especially other little girls. Oh, Trey, you're muted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not, trying to not step on our other girls. Um, but thank you, Amanda. That's a really good question. Uh, the female empowerment aspect of this film uh, was one of the things that drew me to this project. And um, when I read the first draft, uh, it was a great, great story. But uh, I felt like to me, female empowerment isn't female empowerment if someone gives it to you. You have to claim it for yourself. And so when I came aboard this project, there was already a working script and uh, and it was wonderful that they allowed me the opportunity to uh, contribute, express my thoughts on female empowerment. And then I brought in a really good friend and an amazing screenwriter, Cindy McCreary, who has a 14-year-old daughter as well. And so she, uh, she and I really wanted to, uh, to bring 
the, the challenges into this competition, how the girls um, step up and they overcome the obstacles and the things that they don't think that they're capable of doing. Mm -hmm. And so they, when they succeed at them, when something that they felt like they could never achieve, that to me is real female empowerment. And, um, and it's one of my favorite parts of this whole movie and this project. And I don't think I could find any better, more empowered females to be a part of this cast than the three young women that are here in this Zoom session with us, Aliyah, Frankie, and Ava, but then also Tessa and Ashanti as well. I mean, it's kind of all as part of their brand and their message as well. So thank you for that question. Thank you. Tessa, I have a question for you as well. Let's talk about music. I know you have an extensive background in directing videos. So how was this project different from your previous projects? And again, congrats on your di directorial debut. Thank you, thank you. Um, well, it, it is a little bit different. Um, it's definitely uh, something, the music landscape is something that's part of my whole life because in addition to having that background as a music video director, I am also married to a really gifted uh, musician who's in a Grammy award-winning band. He's got plenty of awards himself. Um, so it, it's a very comfortable space for me to, to be in. But the difference is as a music video director, you are putting pictures to music that's already been created. But in, in working in a movie, a, a movie that's got original music, now we are creating songs that, that uh, elevate and uplift this story and help us define the characters and what their arcs are. So that's, that, that's how it differs. Um, but it has actually been uh, one of my favorite parts of this whole experience is having the opportunity to work. We have a, an incredible A-list music department. Um, these, these young women here got to work with uh, a, a songwriter and a producer that is a collaborator of Lady Gaga. And, and Julia Michaels, who is a, her own, she's a Grammy award-winning, Golden Globe award-winning uh, music supervisor. So um, it was, uh, it was a great opportunity for us to get to collaborate and bring to life these songs that would support this story and these characters. Thank you. Thank you. I'm also again for Trey. <laughs> you know, this is a collaboration with Build-A-Bear, which I, I received actually a box yesterday with the little, <laughs> I think they're adorable, oh, yeah. but yeah. But, um, how did that come along? Was it always the plan to have Build a Bear a, a part of this? Oh and yeah. Then, well, okay. Yeah. So Sharon Price John, who is the CEO uh, of Build a Bear, uh, the Honey Girls are her brainchild. So um, she's had she's had this cooking for quite a bit uh, before I ever got to come on board, um, and so this has been a big dream of Sharon's um, to to bring a, these these animated, these characters, these plush, it's the largest selling uh, plush line that Build-A-Bear has. And, uh, and Build-A-Bear is, it, it's a huge global company. They have uh, stores in every continent of the world. So um, that was a really interesting and exciting uh, thing to be a part of, but uh, I certainly can't take credit for that. That's, uh, that's Sharon, that's the CEO of Build-A-Bear. But, um, but it was fun collaborating with Sharon and Patrick Hughes and the writers on, you know, how to take the the message of Build a Bear because you know Build a Bear's message uh, is one that we are better together. That's part of their their brand as as a company, and they're also it's a it's a company that creates multi generational. It's a multi-generational company, that, that appeal. And so we're trying to make, um, I'm not even gonna say trying, I think we did it girls, I think we did it. <laughs> I think we have made a movie that is going to, to, to be multi-generational as well. Cause I, you know, uh, I'm a mom myself, my son is 14 and I find that there is a lack of really great 
films that the whole family can watch together. I find that there are things that play for a younger audience and things that are just have crude humor and for a little bit of older teen, but, but there's not enough good movies that the whole family can enjoy that there's something for everybody, right? Yeah. And so I, I, I believe that we have created a movie, the music's so strong, the performances are, are so strong, uh, the cast and, and, and the message that I, I really do think that you can watch it, you know, you can be from seven to 70. And I think there's gonna be something in this movie that you're gonna enjoy. So, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. So my question is for the girls. We're talking about better together, right? So I wanted to hear from you guys. How did better together come to life for you? Frankie? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> well, um, I, I'm pretty sure we've talked about it. We all knew each other before this film. And um, we're all really best friends in real life. And it's just, it's so nice knowing that the three of us have this real connection. And we do realize that we are better together. And um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Yeah, but tell but tell tell the ladies because this is really I find this so fascinating is that they didn't know that they were all individually auditioning for this movie yeah. and yeah. that's what's really bizarre it's, it's synchronicity I call it magic whatever it is but you guys got to tell them about they've all known each other for a long time but they okay. didn't, they didn't know that they were auditioning and then at the callback. Each of these girls was my first choice as a director for this character, for their characters. Aaliyah was Maya, Ava was Charlie, and Frankie was Alex. That was it for me. And I was adamant with producers, this is it, this is my cast. And then they come on screen together and at the callback, and they're like the Brady Bunch. It's like you see them doing this <laughs> and laughing, and they realize they all know each other. I mean, they're already friends. So you guys should tell them a little bit about that because I thought that was so neat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, it was oh yeah. You. Like <laughs> oh, you can go ahead. You go ahead, say it. Okay. So yes, Frankie and I and Ava all knew each other, and we auditioned separately, not knowing that we were each auditioning for this. And not in, it was until the screen test that we all saw each other, and we were like. Uh, what y'all doing here? <laughs> and so, and so then Trey noticed that like there was something going on. And they were, gig they they were giggling. Oh, and that's we immediately what, started that's what laughing. gave it away, just like they yeah. are right now. They're all looking at each other and they start laughing. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on here? What what is this? And so then we finally told her that we knew each other, and Trey thought that we had great chemistry, and we were like. Uh, we know We're each other. Like, That's yeah, why we, so. we got great chemistry. <laughs> I remember Alia called me right after too. She was like, "Can you just yeah. imagine how fun it would be if all three of us got it?" Later. Later. <laughs> yeah, and it's been so fun since we all knew each other like there's not they there didn't have to be like icebreakers or anything like we already were friends so it was just so awesome to get to do this all together well it's a director's dream because you know when you're making a movie you don't get to shoot like in chronological order it's not like you're starting on you're filming on page one and then you end up on page 90 that's not the way it works um and actually our very first day of filming uh scene one day one is one of the scenes that comes at the very end of the movie. Uh, and so, so it was really a wonderful stroke of luck for me as a director to stumble upon this whole situation. It's crazy. It just like, it has to be magic. I don't even know what else I could call it. It's crazy. Amazing. You are better together. That's it. <laughs> well, I wanted to thank you so much. It's been an honor, a privilege being here with you guys. And I wish you the best luck. I am so excited about the movie. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank and, and as a mother myself of a little girl, well, 
she's going to be 13. I'm excited to see this with her. And we need more movies like this for our girls. I agree. Well, I can't wait to hear what you think. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Thanks, Claudia. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.